Good morning, Taurus. I hope you're doing well and fantastic. Welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning and for those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. I am Nicole. Um, it's pretty early here, I'm trying to get my get my wits about me today. <laughs> uh, Taurus, um, this is going to be your mid-August reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus Cross Watcher. If that is you, welcome to the channel as well. Um, I hope you guys, again, are doing fantastic. We're going to jump right into your reading. Uh, and see what's coming out for mid-August for you all. So, um, let's see. Let's just get straight to it. All right, Taurus. Um, if you guys are interested in personal readings, that in, or that information on how to reach out to me is in the description box below, as well as the About section of the page, or you can reach out to me through holisticallyzenwv.com. There's a full list of products and services there for you as well. So, all right, Taurus. Let's see, mid-August. What is happening for Taurus mid-August? Influence and revision. Um, oh, Spirit is saying this is just a phase. This is just a phase. So this revision, you may see that things are going a little bit differently than you had thought that they were going. Um, so let's see. Revision. Oh, it's for Taurus, please. Spirit, mid-August. Ready but waiting. Magnetism. You may be being drawn into a new way of doing things, um, but I also feel like you feel a magnetic shift is coming as well. Um, the, there is like a, I'm going to call it a seeking of peace, a seeking of a way of change for you. Um, something in your um, current environment could feel a little distorted at this time. Um, general Spirit is saying generalizing your decisions um, so you may have to go back to what I what I always call as a basic basic building blocks, right? Like when things get complicated or um, a little hairy, I guess. Um, we sometimes have to go back down to the very basics of handling situations around us and simplifying things so that we can find a better solution of that. Repetition. I think you're tired of doing things a certain way. This could just be breaking out of your norm space. Um for this repetition to come out in the reverse to me is like you're recognizing certain things that maybe you have done in the past that are they're not they don't work that well or maybe it's just not even that they didn't work they could have worked during that period of time and they served for a while now it is giving yourself the space to do things in a different format or a different way of being essentially um i feel like this surrounds taurus i'm getting that idea of traditions around the Hierophant card, which would be you in the tarot deck. Um, so it's like, you're not, you're not ready. You're not, I'm going to say not ready. You're not going to repeat cycles with certain things in certain situations, certain people. You are going to have to take a new approach to various things in the future. Um, but I do feel like you don't feel the time is quite right yet, or you could just start be starting to feel a pull of doing things in a different way uh, for, and Spirit is also saying for different reasons. So we'll see, two of cups and completion. Um, some cycles have absolutely completed for you, Taurus, as you know, um, well, you know, we moved out of the north and the south area of Taurus and Scorpio, moving into Aries and Libra. Um, I think a lot of life changes are kind of blowing you away. Things that are, maybe you didn't think were going to happen are starting to happen and take, take shape, but this space is asking you uh, with this to give it time and it's going to come into fruition spirits pointing out October to me for some reason October may be a very important important period of time for you guys uh, gosh all right let's see for Taurus please spirit eight of cups ace of cups you know I think for Taurus and Scorpio with the cycle that we had um when you go through a lot of massive change, a lot of massive uh, spiritual openings, awakenings, um, depending on your past situations, and we've all dealt with some type of trauma or situations that have broken us down to reopen us, I think you you guys are coming into a space of reopening various things and starting to replace <clears throat> maybe some spirits saying hardened values. Uh, and replacing that with a more loving approach to how you're doing things. Not that you guys were necessarily hard in how you did things to begin with, but it's like you're opening up to a more loving, um, a more loving way of doing it, a more compassionate way of doing it. I've been seeing that Ace of Cups a little bit here lately, and of course with Venus and retrograde, 
that is a review. There's that world card again of um, our love, our relationships, how we handle people, situations. Um, it's it's very good reflective energy to be in. So I do like that the Ace of Cups showed its face there for you guys. The Seven of Wands, the world. Um, this this particular Seven of Wands for me typically would be like pushing you know other people out. When you look at the traditional Rider weight deck. Um, you know, defending your boundaries, pushing back. Um, this seven of wands is to me, she's going very introspective. She's very much in her bubble, um, essentially, you know, protecting herself in that sense. But I also feel like with the way she's positioned on that card, it is a space of enlightenment. And through that cycle close, um, sacred geometry could be something that you guys are, are looking into as well. But it's like you're kind of taking that forward leap and that ready and waiting, ready but waiting. You take a look at that, like she's on, she's on that precipice, right? She's getting ready to take that leap into the full energy, that ready but waiting. Like you know something is coming, you're aware, you're getting there, you're getting ready to kind of jump that threshold. So, oh, too many cards, too many cards, spirit, too many cards. One more card, please, spirit, one more card. Let's see. Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> I think you're preparing yourself for the work that you're going to have to put in moving forward. Um, strategizing, planning, learning, researching, reading, alchemizing, um, going through and understanding what the new phase is going to look like for you. So you may be just trying to grab a, big, a bigger idea and picture of how things are going to play out. The work that you're going to have to put in that Devil card and the Nine of Pentacles. Um, be careful not to intertwine yourself in situations with people. Um, that may be toxic or repetitive of codependent patterns. Um, but I think it's like, it's almost like you're coming into this phase of complete, you were in the state of complete independence. And yet <clears throat> there may be things that they seem mental related to me that are um, kind of toying with you. So this could be obsessions, addictions, um, repeating past patterns that weren't so healthy, toxic people, I will say this to you, and I don't know why I'm getting this, but we'll go with it because that's what Spirit's giving me. If you have <clears throat> prior toxic people popping up in your life, pay attention to that because I almost feel like it's an invitation of some sort going, come on over to this side, essentially. That side to me does not feel um, very healthy. So just watch your patterns and your behaviors is really what I want to say to you because it's almost like somebody opening the door and saying to you, come on, you know, let, let's go this way. So just be careful. And this could be in relationships. This could be friendships. This could be family. This could be a multitude of things. Um, but I also feel like it's kind of starting to play a mental, uh, take a mental toll on you to some degree as to how you're going through this. But overall, though, I still feel like your energy is pretty stable. This devil underneath um, is like, almost testing your boundaries, testing your limits as to what you're going to tolerate and put up with as well. Um, so just, just be aware of, of that. It's like the underlying energy to you getting ready to move forward and holding your ground. So with this magnetism, oh my God, spirit for magnetism. Let's see. One. We've got the nine of swords in the sun. Um, again, I, I same kind of repetitive energy. Like you see all these, these dark, I don't know if these are crows or what, they look like crows on here. And then you've got that one, one white one. So I feel like spirit is coming in and gifting you some type of relief um, from a particular situation to the things that you're being pulled into, dealing with stuff that's giving you some anxiety, you know, maybe keeping you up at night. But I also feel like with the sun here, it's just simply being illuminated. That there's another way of doing things. Um, the Knight of Cups there, again, charming, compassionate, um, love, loving, sending out um, vibes of, of pulling something new in. So you may just be over, I feel like you're over analyzing a situation at this time. Eight of Cups, Nine of Wands. Um, Taurus, I feel like there's various messages here for you guys. And I'm going to tell you, I've got a lot of nervous energy right now flowing through my body. So you just may have a lot of nerves surrounding a situation, not sure what it is you're going to do or how you're going to do it. Um, but it's like this idea, the need to like kick up your heels and go. At, spirit's saying slow it down is what is what they're saying. Don't get too caught up in it. 
because I feel like where things have been hard and heavy in the past, you are moving into the, the sunlight. You look at that Eight of Cups, that sun sits on the horizon. You've got the sun here. Um, it's okay to, it's almost like you're going to have to find a real strict balance right now between um, this anxiety and these things that you feel like are being drawn into you because the vision that you have of what's going on, I talked about that distorted energy a little bit ago, still the same thing. And what I find interesting, again, is you look at that card and in the back, minus the cat hair, <laughs> minus the cat hair, um, you've got the sun dead center there too as well. So it's like positive times are ahead for so long as you stay out of that toxic energy and like that invitation back to the past. Um, you may have to have communication with somebody from the past. Do not overly engage. Do whatever. If you have to re-engage, um, keep it to an absolute minimum because I do feel like it's going to be, I'm going to say a final nail in the coffin for somebody or something. Um, very interesting energy with, attached to that. But it's like, if you step into this, this newfound way, you take that leap into the full, uh, with that, it is, um, it's going to pay off in the long run, 1122 on the clock there. Um, but it's going to be how you engage with this energy. Okay. So if you allow this space, this person, this, whatever it is, um, spirit is also saying you need to allow time. So it's, you know, if you're dealing with a person, this could just be time will show what they're going to do or how they're going to do things. And that ultimately could be their own demise in your situation. Otherwise, I would also say to you that when I talked about that love and that compassion of the Ace of Cups that we've seen underneath, um, you are overanalyzing how something works out or how something plays out just be yourself just do what you do and how you've done it that has worked and if it hasn't worked then obviously that change is very much needed uh this repetition in reverse taurus let's see page of swords that page of swords keeps showing itself too that's another card because i've done a few of these readings i've seen it quite a few times over you know it's amazing to me that 78 cards in a tarot deck and you see some of the same cards over and over uh, it talks about the conditions of the astrology, I think, and what's going on around us at this time because we're all kind of vibing in that same energy, essentially, uh, but learning different things. First, Taurus, please, Spirit. Nine of Wands again for Taurus. Let's see here. Let's move this out of the way. <sighs> this this idea of learning and not doing things different, again, it's, it's a bold move forward. Um the tower in reverse. <sighs> Taurus, make sure, the lover's card, make sure you're not setting yourself up for failure is really how this feels to me. Um, I do feel like you're trying to integrate various aspects of your life. Looking at the underneath here, we've got that three of pentacles, the three of cups, the lover's card. So this could be choices. This could also be a romantic partner. Um, spirit is, um, give me one second here. Let's see. Spirit is saying seeking someone outside of yourself, and that's fine too, right? This is collaborating, coming together. But the, the one thing I find very interesting on this card of the Three of Pentacles is that stop, caution, and go kind of energy as well. So you may be trying to discern where it is you want to place that energy with these with these three people. Um, these three people, one of these people could be you, Taurus. Um, but it's like coming together in these, this idea of this group setting, making better choices of the company that you're keeping as well. Um, because with that, you know, underneath that, again, there's that same devil card with the eight of wands. Like there's that communication, right? They're trying to quickly pull you in, move you into something that you may not be prepared for. Um, but yet here, here's this group. So you're going to have choices around the people um, or the situations you're choosing to entangle yourself with at this time. With that page of wand or page of swords, I'm sorry, the nine of wands and the tower in the reverse, um, I do think that you have learned some very valuable lessons on how not to prop that tower up. Seeing that tower come out in a lot of readings, not just my own uh, or that same sort of kind of energy as well, but you are creating space between you and these other things that have kind of come back in or trying to come back in 
and um, Spirit is calling it reinventing themselves into your new world. So I do think that for the majority of you, this is, you're recognizing these long, hard fought battles within yourself or dealing with other people. You're strategizing how you're going to work around that. Um, but I don't think that you guys are very phased by whatever this is. Um, <laughs> Spirit is saying there's been a few battle wounds. <coughs> Excuse me. Along the way. Um, but I feel like that whenever you get close to what I, I'm going to say reacting, when you get close to reacting to these situations, you are stopping for a moment and really lighting your own path, lighting a candle. It's like almost like lighting a candle in the middle of a dark room, right? And the lights go out to see where it is you're going and, and trying to avoid that tower space. I do also will say this, if you're dealing with a situation in the, the past that you're going to have to do it differently um, something may just genuinely have to fall. You know, that tower in the reverse is propping up, um, old, you know, the old way of doing things. It's trying to come down to, a, you know, and trying to crumble, right? Trying to let it, we need, we need, I can't talk. Oh my God. Um, trying to release itself, <clears throat> you know, spirit's way of doing that. So, you know, if there are external circumstances around you that you have no control over, it's important if these towers are going to fall, don't be the one that works so hard to prop them up. Just let them fall to the ground. Let them just, you know, let things unravel as they need to because in the long run, it's going to be for your betterment anyhow moving forward. You don't want to hang on to people or things that are going to um, continue to create tower moments in your life, right? If they need to fall apart, let them fall apart because it's going to be a whole new, whole new world. Once it, all the ash settles, you get to rebuild. So, and I think that's... Um, going to be very imperative, but I also feel like with this tower, there's also a cunning aha moment surrounding something. What that is, it's going to be different for all of you. I'm not sure, um, <clears throat> but it's like an aha moment of, oh, wait a minute. I seen this coming. I, I seen this unfolding. So I, I do feel like there's a collective group of Tauruses who are going to get it. And there's a collective tour, group of Taurus who is not going to get it. And these tower moments are going to kind of come crashing in uh, just, and I, chills, just as they need to. Because if it's not working, if it's an old way of doing things, um, it, it, you know, those phases are done. Whatever time spirit has allotted you for um, certain things, like it's just the time is up. You are out of that cycle you really have to be aware, and I'm going to say this, Taurus, that when that cycle closed out for Taurus and Scorpio, right, we went through this karmic shift, these karmic cycles, these karmic lessons. That was a large part. That is our fate and our desti destiny in our north and south nodes, right? So it's like you went through this massive completion. And for some of you, I kind of feel like it's still lingering because a new way of doing things is coming into play. However, in the same breath, um, as you start this new cycle, you have choices to make. And those choices with that level with that lover's card is saying that you're either going to do it differently this time around. And again, I collectively, I think a large group of you are, but it's the idea of not falling back into those same patterns and those same routines because you're, as you start this new karmic cycle, you're creating that karma to play out. Your dharma right now, right? Like you're creating that space to play out in the future. So you just want to be very mindful of where it is that you're uh, inserting your energy and not being afraid to step into the unknown. Because when that tower falls, right, we don't know what's going to be left at the bottom. Besides, you know, you know, burn, burnt material and ash and just a complete raw form of what is to come, right? So I just would say to you, if it has to fall, which a lot of this is going to, let it. Um, and then make the smart choice so that you're not repeating karmic cycles moving forward as well. And then we've got the power of purpose for the advice. One more card for advice, please, Spirit. One more card for Taurus for advice. I say one, they say ten. <laughs> the power of purpose coming out in the reverse. Um, to me, I it's like, how do I want to describe this? Uh, and then I say ten and there it is. Um, 
don't be afraid to let go again of the things that maybe you missed a mark on or you missed a target on or like this wheel is turning and I don't know how else to explain that with that with that the world card there showing itself twice this power of purpose there's the wheel to it that nine is independent energy right so it's like you may feel like in the past you've hit brick walls with certain things you were this close this close to changing it up and it's like you may be reminiscing on um, how you how you didn't quite get there before, okay? This awakening at genius to me is you understanding and having the knowledge and the know-how how not to do it a given way again. Um, you are being guided. There may be some native culture behind you as well for some of you, and this could be ancestors that are coming through and pushing helping to push you forward. The Oracle's gift and shining through, again, those towers to me, um, this is this is Spirit's gift to you. So, you know, good karma kind of thing. Um, they are pushing you through and they are providing you with the insight, the know-how, the knowledge, the wisdom to shift you. The interesting thing with those two cards that fell out and I laid them in third position, they equal a 13, which is the death card, transformation, change, um, transmuting energy of the past to move forward so that you can have this breakthrough. I think there's a lot of signs right now that are on the precipice of this massive change, this massive breakthrough. And then when you look at that broken open is the underlying there. Another 10, another state of completion. So I do feel Taurus, um, this, I feel like this cycle has already ended. Again, you're starting off in a new karmic cycle as well. And through that, it is understanding that you are creating space. The need to create space for this new way of um, being to evolve for you and then for those of you who um, or you could be dealing with somebody in this energy right remember that um, this repetition even though it came out in the reverse the fact that it's tied to that tower um, I feel like some of you may struggle with how that changed your life with certain situations changed your life um and with that this broken open is leaving you feeling like you are in a raw space open vulnerable um if you've depending on your placements right um cunning strategic that kind of thing i i think there's a recon recognition recognition that for as cunning or as sly as you tried to be, um, there is something to that that has ended up burning you in the past. So if you're constantly strategizing, and again, Taurus, like I'm not trying to beat your ass. I know I tend to do that. Um, it's like, understand that you have got to define a new way of living. It doesn't work anymore. And I feel like when you're stripped down to the bare minimum of who you are, it's scary. It puts us in a vulnerable state. It's an uncomfortable space to be in, whether it's emotionally or anything like that. Um, but you may feel like you're an open target kind of vibe. So the one thing I will say is I did see that Ace of Cups in the underlying. There is not another cup card here on the table. So it's like all emotionality is out the window altogether, plain and simple. So Taurus, just, just be aware of that. You know, put that where that fits in your world and pay attention. Lacking that emotion, I do think that you do have to be strategic in some ways about how you're handling a situation. Um, but I do feel like for those of you that are investing into things for the right reasons, um, good things will come of that in due time um in 13 months too is what spirits give me so that would put us into what september ish of next year october ish of next year so i think that by that time frame if you're really putting in the work um oh there is the cups card knight of cups i'm sorry um but still right not enough water there it's like offers of love right offering love and compassion but make sure you're also 
immersing yourself in it to some degree that you're handling each situation with love, care, and compassion. Um, what was I saying? But, um, oh, hell. Oh, but I would say about a year out from now, whatever it is that you're hoping will change. Um, when that tower falls, let it fall because that massive change will come through in due time. It won't be, whatever this is, will not be an overnight fix. Okay, so... Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you're interested, again, in personal readings, you can find that information in the description box below as well as the about section of the page. Again, holisticallyzenwb.com. Uh, personal readings are open and available. And again, that information is found in the description box below as well as the about section of the page. And then um, that way you can, can book a personal reading. So anybody who has donated and... Um, helped out here on the channel in any way, whether it's by sharing the video, commenting, and feel free to comment, guys. Let me know how that resonated for you. Um, thank you very much. I love and appreciate all of you. Sending you the best, and I will see you soon. Bye.